Hello, this is Azriel Ratz, CEO of Ratz Pack Media. Last week, I mentioned that I was gonna talk this week about what businesses should not be on Facebook. So I've been thinking about this question for a really long time, and this week I actually finished reading the Ask Gary V book. If you haven't read it yet, sorry, I didn't read it. I listened to my first audiobook, the first audiobook I've ever listened to, the Ask Gary V book. It was, it's a really great book filled with tons of information about business and social media and, and marketing and startups. It's, it's an amazing book and I highly recommend it. I'm, put a, I'm gonna put a link down below. And, and he actually was asked this question in the book. He was asked, what should what they call gray hair businesses do on Facebook? So if I were to answer the question off the top of my head without thinking, what businesses should not be on Facebook? I would say funeral homes and morgues and, and, and things that are just things most people don't want to talk about online. I, you know, I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see my baby pictures and my cat videos. I really don't want to be interrupted with um, an ad to use a specific funeral home. That's not really something I want in my newsfeed. So Gary actually answered this question in a really great way where he said that what you need to do is instead of trying to advertise your product or your service, you need to have a conversation with people because think about it. On the internet right now, where are people who are in that age group hanging out? Where, where do they spend their time online? So they're not on Instagram, they're not on Snapchat, they're not on Pinterest, they're not on Twitter. They are only on Facebook. That's where 95% of people over the age of 65 are on Facebook and that's, and that's where they're spending their time. So the same way that that company should be buying a billboard to get to reach those people, they should be on Facebook. They should have accounts on Facebook because that's where these people are. So if you want business from those people who are on Facebook that are that age, this is a really great place to be. So the, the question just is, how should you be, ad, to be talking on Facebook? So this is what's really the answer to the question, the, the question of who shouldn't be on Facebook. The answer is everyone should be on Facebook as long as you can find your voice. Meaning, if I own an old age home and I'm trying to get people to come to the old age home, so talking about, you know, click here on our advertisement to save 15% on your first month at the nursing home, that's not something that anyone wants to click on. No one in the whole world wants an ad for a, for a one month free at our, you know, at, our, at our nursing home. Instead, the voice that the nursing sh home should have is a voice of happiness and talking about you know, the art projects and the, the, and the workouts and, and the shuffleboarding and the cards and the friendship that people will create. And maybe they could even have stories of, of certain people that came to the nursing home and got better from the experience and met nurses and doctors and made friends there. And the, if you create your voice of a happy, fun experience, and as opposed to trying to sell people an experience they don't want to have, you s instead present yourself as, as, a, as a great place to be, as, a, as a, you know, a hub for people to hang out, as, as a place you wanna like hang out on the weekends because the, the swimming pool has this really great exercise instructor and that by doing that, by creating a voice where it's something people do wanna talk about, then then you can be on Facebook and you should be on Facebook. So Gary's actual example was a funeral home where he said the one part that is like an okay thing to talk about in a nurse in a funeral home is, is flowers. And you could talk about, you know, different flowers for funerals. And he even said to go so far as to ask people what, what things are hard for you in this time? How can we give you an easier experience? What can we give you? What can we do for you? What services can we offer? And by doing that, by, by having a conversation with people, then you're able to understand what people want. You can give more of that to people. But really what it's about on Facebook is creating the ability to find the, the thing people do want to talk about and talk about those things and be open about it and realize that some things need to be held back and some things shouldn't be talked about and some things shouldn't be done. We have enough businesses online that do that do social media totally wrong. You don't wanna be one of those businesses. So just find the right things to, to talk about and find the things that people aren't afraid to, to read more about. And by doing that, you won't only be a voice that should be on Facebook, you'll be a voice that 
that people want on Facebook, things that they want to talk about. Because at the end of the day, these are services that are needed and these are things that should be talked about. But if they're, if they're talked about in the wrong way, no one will want to talk about them. But if they're talked about in the right way, then everyone will be open and happy to have the conversation. I hope that this made sense and that you, that you now have a better grasp of how businesses as a whole, it doesn't just, just apply to specific industries, but businesses as a whole need to be on Facebook and interact with their, their audiences and really understand what people want. And, and it's not just about selling and, and getting people to buy more. It's about creating a place where people want to be so that they could get closer to you and create a community and know more about you and about people like that, that already buy from you and experiences and, and great stories. And that's what people want and that's what you should give them. I hope that this made sense and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share and comment down below if you have any other business questions and don't forget to thumbs up on YouTube and thank you so much for watching and have a great day.